Hello everyone, in this video I will provide you a brief introduction to an amazing software for ray tracing and optical design. The name of this software is 3D Optics and the nice feature of this software is that it's completely free. Yes, it's completely free. Another nice feature of this software is that it's completely cloud-based, that is, you can use it from your browser. You can start using the 3D Optics software by visiting the 3D Optics website and over here you can click register and then you enter your email address and your information. After that you need to basically enter your username and password, that is you need to sign up and after you sign up you can basically log in and after you log in you can access this online module that can be used to model the system. As you will see in this video, it's very easy to use this software and relatively complex optical systems can be easily modeled. For example, you can see here a system, here is my point source, here I have plano convex lens, then here I have a mirror, then the second mirror, and then again I have plano convex lens and over here I have an approximate focal plane. Okay, so let's start with the system modeling. We click on file and we click on new. And I click on confirm. And this is my empty breadboard. The first step is to add the source. So over here you have several options. Here, this is very important that this menu optical design is active. And over here, we have general purpose source. What do I do? I do a left click, hold my left my, uh, button, and I basically release the button over here. And here you have some basic information about the source. And I'll just close this window. Okay. Let's double click over here. You can basically move the source as you wish. You can rotate the view. I'm holding the left mouse button to rotate. And again, let's click over here on our source and let's move it by just holding the left mouse button. Okay, so let's model a point source. I will click on this element and here I can expand this window. Now, here you immediately see that you, the laser name is Gaussian Lambda 550 nanometer and Lambda width is 200 nanometers. So over here you can expand the beam section and here you can basically select this option point source. So I will model uh, source that has numerical aperture of let's say 0, 01 to 0, 0112 or 0, uh, 0, 01 to 0, 014. So I'll place here, I'll enter 7 degrees. Here I will adjust the number of rays and number of circles. Let's do 25. And here this is not so relevant, so you can even put 0 over here. And if you click here on propagation simulation, we can basically see our source. Basically, I am emitting rays from this source and the numerical aper aperture is somewhere between 0, 01 and 0, 0144 with the seven degrees of angle. The next step is to add the collimating lens and the mount. So over here, I can basically search for third-party components and from the menu over here I just need to wait a little bit for this menu to load I can select the lens mount so I will select this mount basically it's a mount for one inch optics and here is my mount you can notice that the mount height automatically adjusts to the height of your source however I need to basically align this mount and you can easily do that by basically doing the left click on the mount and just moving it left or right. So here's my mount, okay? But I'm missing 
a lens. So I will click on my mount and over here I have an, an option to add an optical element. So I will click here, search options, and I have several options. I want a lens and then let's say that we want to have a collimating system. So I will select spherical lens, plano convex lens and here I have many options. You can basically scroll down and you can search for the lens. For example, I can select this lens. Basically, it's a lens that has a diameter of 25.4 millimeters and approximately 50 millimeters focal length. So I click on this part over here and then let us simulate the system. Okay, so we see some change, right? The light is being refracted by the lens, right? The ray paths are changed by the lens. However, this is, a not, this is not a collimated system, so we need to adjust the position of the source or the position of the mount and the lens, such that the source is approximately at the focal length of the lens. There are many ways for adjusting the position of our source. You can, for example, click over here in order to obtain the measurements. However, I will use a different method. Over here I will click and then I have an option to offset. And I just need to select basically the axis to offset. I think this will be delta Z offset. And let's see what happens if I move my source away from the lens. Let's simulate the system and let's see what happens. Okay, so probably I have to go in another direction. So I will adjust it over here and let's see what happens. Okay, probably I need to adjust it more. Let's say something like this. Okay, starts to improve, the beam starts to improve. So I need to do a little bit more. Let's do this. Okay, now I can also change the position of my mount by following the same procedure. I have an offset here, clicking on the offset and then I can do something like this. And again, I click on propagation simulation to see my beam. Okay, so here's my beam. It's not perfectly collimated, but it's still better than the initial beam. Let us now check the diameter of the collimated beam. We can do that by clicking over here and clicking on detectors. And here we have an option to select. It's called 3D Optics Transparent Detector. We can basically move the detector here, adjust its position, and then we can simply click on Propagation Simulation and we can basically click on our screen and click over here, detailed hit image, so we can see what happens over here. This is basically our beam. This is the center of our screen. So you can estimate that basically beam here, diameter is approximately 10 millimeters. The next step is to add two mirrors. In order to add two mirrors, we need to click over here and we need to click on third party components. We need to select a kinematic mount for the mirror. And we need a kinematic mount that can support a two inch mirror. So here I will change the option. I will select two, three and four inches. And here's our kinematic mount. Let us wait for this mount to load. We simply do a left click, drag the mount over here and we place it over here. And you can see that the height of the mount is automatically adjusted. Okay, now we need to add a mirror and we need to rotate the mount. So we click over here and here we need to add an optical element. So we click over here 
and we search for mirrors by clicking here and we have se several options we have metallic the electric curved mirror and etc so and then you have different brands to choose you have coating type let's do aluminum coating type shape and diameter and we need a flat mirror metal coated so we can for example choose this option metal coated flat mirror so let's select this option and here's our mirror let us now rotate this mount for let's say 45 degrees let's see what will happen if you click over here okay so this is the rotation of our system and let's simulate the system by clicking on propagation simulation okay so this is our first mirror next let us add the second mirror we can add the second mirror by clicking on the first mirror and clicking here on the copy button and here's our second mirror we will just translate this mirror and we need to rotate it so to rotate it we will click on the mirror and over here we will enter the rotation angle the rotation angle should be 315 degrees okay so here is our second mirror let us simulate the system cool so we are almost finished we just need an additional lens and the screen first we need to add the lens mount so we click here on third-party components and here we need to find the appropriate mount since we want to have a two inch lens I will click over here and here we need to wait for the mount to load we need to wait a little bit so here is our mount we will move it over here and as you can see the height of the mount is automatically adjusted the next step is to add the lens to the mount we can click here on the mount and here under the optical element we need to search for optics again we want a lens we want basically plano convex lens and here we can select for example a lens that has 100 focal length and 50.8 millimeters diameter so let's select this lens lens and let's simulate the system okay so as expected the lens will focus the beam over here this should be the focal length of the system it is 100 millimeters the final step is to add the detector so over here we click on detectors and here we need to click on screens we will select this 3d optics detector and we will place it somewhere over here close to the focal plane we need to adjust basically the position we can also offset it a little bit but that's not important in this moment and of course we need to rotate this screen for 180 degrees and we click on propagation simulation and over here we can see the results by clicking detailed image so this is the result these are basically primitive spot diagrams okay that would be all for today i hope that you liked this video if you like the videos i create please subscribe or support my channel thank you very much and have a nice day